All right, class, let's settle down and get ready for math. Mrs. Glendening, can I be excused from class and be promoted into the fourth grade? No, you may not. You have to pass the third grade before you can go into the fourth grade. Why? I'm smarter than all these dumb bastards. No offense. Okay, you want to act smart, mister? Then come with me to Principal Kaler's office. Oh. 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 Oh my. Come in. Mr. Kaler, the student of mine thinks he's smart enough to be promoted to the fourth grade, and I've come to chat with you about it. Hmm. Well, how about I ask Paul a few questions, and if he gets them all right, then we can promote him into the fourth grade. How's that sound? Fine by me. Fine by me, too. What's, uh, nine times nine? Eighty-one. What's the square root of sixty-four? Eight. And, uh, how many ounces are in a gallon? 128 ounces. They're all correct. Looks like he's smart enough for the fourth grade after all. Let me ask him a few questions and see if he's smart enough for the fourth grade. Bring it on, bitch. What do you have in your pants that I don't have? <coughs> Pockets. What's big, long, and carries lots of semen? <coughs> a submarine. What does a cow have four of that only I have two of? <coughs> Legs. What does a man do on two legs that a woman does sitting down and a dog does on three legs? They shake hands. What goes in hard and pink and comes out soft and sticky? Bubble gum. What word starts with F and ends with K? Mm. Fire truck. What? Stop. This is Glenn Durning. I think we should promote Paul to the fifth grade because I got all those questions wrong.